Beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. This is the first year of Gun Owners America Gold event. And we're here with Nick from Ariskany Arms. I said that right. You did, Ariskany. That's Ariskany, New York. That is. I'm thinking. Yeah. So, um, yeah, some beautiful 1911s. All these are single stack, I'm guessing, right? They are so you for the, the moment. You do the OG right now. Absolutely. Um, let's go through, sample a little of, of what you've got. Sure. And then, uh, yeah, tell us why Risk and he's different. Sure. They obviously look different. So here yeah. we go. Yeah, man. So basically what I have on the table, I have our first generation stuff over here. You'll see the stuff with the tri-top and the lightning cuts. That's our new Gen 2. Right. Um, so what makes us unique is uh, pretty much you can pick, build that thing from the ground up with customization. Um, I think it's actually also pretty unique that we build all the major components in-house ourselves in our CNC facilities. So that means all of our own frames, slides, barrels, uh, a couple of the smaller components, the parts we don't make, we source domestic. Right. And you can essentially make a 1911 exactly the way you want it. However you want. It can be shiny, it can be matte, it can be... You got it. Literally however. Um, as far as some, some of the upgraded stuff, like uh, I guess internals. Yep. Uh, triggers, things like that. Is that pretty uniform across the board or does that kind of depend on the model? Nope. So the internals, all generation ones have the same internals as all generation ones. Generation two, no matter what upgrade you pick, they have all the same internals, you know, ignition systems and everything okay. like that. So you're picking your sights, your caliber, your, what does that mean? The finish, the grip. Yep. Finish, grip. That sort of thing. Yeah, controls. Now, are you completely like custom shop or do you have like levels? In other words, do you have your your basic SKUs, your basic models, and then you do custom shop or do you not do custom shop at all? Or how so, does that work? So it would be the first one. So we do okay. have a line of standard models. The standard models are based upon two things. That would be your finish mm -hmm. and whether you're doing a uh, Picatinny tack rail or not. Okay. Um, okay. Outside of that, if you know, you get away from that, then that's when we start bringing in, you know, to the custom level. To the custom level. But y'all can accommodate that. Absolutely. That's awesome. And as far as the, we talked about the, the calibers before. Yep. Um, what cartridge, what calibers, which one? Obviously 45, that's the OG. Yep, yeah, so we got 45. Uh, we're doing nine millimeter as well, and we do 10 millimeter. Okay. Now, the one thing I will tell you is, and this, you know, could transfer into barrel length, so we only do the 10 millimeter on our five inch full size model. Okay, that would be the that would be the government. Government, government. Yeah, buddy. Real quick, I need to give a shout out to MTM Case Guard who helped out with the trip to Goals this year. Now, if you've been a firearm owner for any length of time, odds are you own you love products from MTM Case Guard. Personally, I really do like the shooting tables that they have, but man, they've got a ton of storage solutions mostly for ammunition uh, and then the rest you see the k-zone shooting rest all the time here on the channel so mtm they've got a little bit of something for everybody if you want to check out all of the mtm products that i use i'm going to drop a link down in the pinned comment below um so then we go down to four and a quarters and officer models. We offer those as well. So okay. four and a quarter inch barrel, three and a half inch barrel. But again, we all three sizes, we do 45 and nine. The five inch is the only one we offer 10 millimeter on. Okay. Um, and you know, with a 10 millimeter, honestly, that makes sense. Cause I mean, you're going to get the uh, added velocity there, which is also, it was awesome in a, in a 10 millimeter, but then also um, with, 10 millimeter is a even in an all metal frame is a handful you know in a smaller in a smaller barrel you know smaller size slide you know a lot of less weight yep that sort of thing so it kind of makes sense now question yep. you talked about the customer shop earlier if somebody wanted a commander or an officer or something in 10 millimeters well i'd say you know nothing's out of the question <laughs> <laughs> money talks yeah that's, that's what it. i hear him saying i hear him saying that's, money talks. Hey, I, you know, I mean, if we could get it to go for you and, you know, right. we'll, we'll try anything. Right. Mm -hmm. Something like the uh, the bling bling finish here. Yep. Uh, and an officer in a 10 millimeter. Oh, man, I'd hate that. But, you know, <laughs> it doesn't mean I wouldn't try. That would kind of be sacrilege, <laughs> wouldn't it? It would. Let, let me ask, as far as the, the shiny here, because this is one of the, the shiniest ones, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, As far as the polish and everything on the finish. Yeah. That done in-house? New. 
No. Okay. So, so we have a local company to us that does a great job. Obviously, um, they've, yeah. Uh, they've been doing it for years and years and years for a lot of big name 1911 people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we kind of just requested that, you, you know, take it to the next level for ours. And, right. And they do a great job with it. Yeah. Well, you know, they're so shiny. They're so pretty. And I'm like, there's got to be a lot of work that goes into <laughs> yeah. them like that. Yeah. You know, what? most of what you see nowadays is the Cerakote, yep. you know, or, you know, you don't even see, you know, let alone high polished blue or whatever like this. You don't even see blue firearms hardly anymore. Most right. of everything is either Cerakote or it's stainless. Right. It's kind of matte stainless, not polished. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, just to see something like that is crazy. <laughs> um, you know, I noticed the, the grip designs pretty similar across the board as yeah. far as the uh you know these are more aggressive i guess grip design yeah. is that a design that you guys come up with or is some kind of a standard design that you just picked up no so that grip right there we actually don't make so that's uh okay. that's a, that's a vz fallout grip okay and, uh, it's a vz grip nice. I, I love everything they have vz's great oh, it's aggressive as it can be great. dude oh. like it is crazy yeah yeah that's uh that's a great grip so yeah, that's not Great coming company. out. Of, not coming out of your hand for sure. What am I doing wrong? Here? Oh, these things are weird, man. There you go. There we go. We got it back in. You got the lazy Susan action going yeah. on there too. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of neat, man. People here at the show can check them out. Yeah. Um. Well, Nick. Hey. Thanks for uh, spending a couple of minutes with us. Absolutely. Appreciate Thank it. you for coming over. Phenomenal, man. They're, they're beautiful. I love beautiful it. 1911s. Uh, and they should be 1911 classic firearm. Two World Wars, baby. Yes. Right. And uh, with something that's been around a long, I mean, you want to pay homage to it. And, and I think you guys are doing a great job. Oh, doing I appreciate that. Doing that. So uh, that's going to do it from Ghosts. And uh, we'll catch you later. Bye. See you guys.